Hi everyone, I have decided to make a video about onboarding screen which appears just once uh, in case with non-registered users so we are not storing everything, anything in Adalo's database. So this um, the video was inspired by this uh, question on the forum. Uh, I have prepared uh, the application sample, so this is it. I have two screens here, I have home screen and I have welcome screen. So the idea is that when user uh, opens the app a non-registered user opens the app at the first time. He gets to the welcome screen, reads some onboarding information, and then gets to the home screen. And uh, in the second time, user always gets to the home screen. Uh, so the way I'm going to implement it uh, is uh, using an interim routing screen, which will be a welcome screen. So first, let me create this routing screen. Boom. it's called welcome routing and I'm going to this is going to be the main uh, screen of the app after login so after opening sorry so I'm making it a home screen which does not really matter but uh, I'm making it a welcome screen as well and I will link this routing screen to two screens so first link will be a link to onboarding uh, just to make it more smoother let's make it transition none and the uh, second link will be to app unregistered home the same like that uh, let me enable linking here uh, so uh, and from onboarding screen uh, upon pressing start button i link to app unregistered home screen so the links are set up but the thing is that of course every time uh, we are going to get uh, to onboarding screen first so uh, what I need to do is to set up that this link uh, will be uh, will happen only sometimes so how can I do that the first way to store something in the uh, web application or native application in Adalo is to use uh, input forms. Uh, they uh, input fields, or call it like that. Uh, they uh, usually act as a persistent storage, so they are stored either in browser uh, internal storage or in mobile app internal storage. And therefore, we can store the information about who, about the what, what has happened in uh, in some case. Uh, usually, what I do, I have a separate screen for such kind of storage, and I call it, uh, as you can see, auxiliary, and. Uh, let me take this screen let's put an input there uh, here is it text input and let me call this input a uh, onboarded so uh, i leave everything empty here uh, and uh, Following the flow, when I uh, get to home routing screen, then I get to onboarding screen, and I need to change this input's value after I have press start button. Or I can even uh, do it upon uh, entering onboarding screen, it doesn't really matter. So let me uh, go here, more change input value, which input value, it will be all screens auxiliary onboarded. And uh, let me put yes here uh, and then uh, so the logic we go here press next value changed we go to home screen but now let's uh, finalize the logic here so when we go to onboarding screen we make it happen only sometimes and this will happen only if other components all screens auxiliary onboarded is not equal to yes so every time the input does not contain yes we go to onboarding if it contains yes we go to app and register at home let's preview this is a completely new app there are no users here so okay uh, you see we got to the welcome screen we press start this is home screen and I have a button which does not do anything here. So uh, let me close the uh, uh, window, the preview and run preview once again. 
as you can see, we are getting to the home screen uh, directly without any onboarding. Uh, so this is the simple solution to skip onboarding screens uh, using an input component uh, to store some value persistently. I hope it was useful. Thank you.